desktop environments. What are they? Why do we need them? And which one should I use? A desktop environment is a graphical user interface or GUI made by a company or community that includes a selection of software, some settings, a login manager, and a set of features. Desktop environments also require a window manager, which controls the placement and appearance of windows in a GUI. You can install multiple desktop environments and choose the one you want at the login screen. Why do I need a GUI? Without a GUI, your desktop will just be a command prompt. Which desktop environment should I use? There's many desktop environments to choose from, but today we will take a look at the five most popular ones. GNOME is a popular desktop environment that's known for its simplicity and ease of use. It has a clean and modern interface that's easy to navigate. Workspaces are also a big feature in GNOME, allowing you to easily switch between them and, for example, Organize apps for work into one workspace and then your personal apps into another. KDE is another popular desktop environment that's known for its customizability. It has a wide range of features and options so you can tailor your desktop to your exact needs. Some people like the vast customization options, but they can be overwhelming for a lot of people. XFCE is a lightweight desktop environment that's perfect for older or less powerful computers. It doesn't have the nicest interface, but it's simple and efficient and doesn't use many resources. XFCE is also very customizable. Cinnamon is a desktop environment that's designed to look and feel like Windows. It has a traditional Windows style start menu and taskbar and it comes with a variety of Windows-like apps. It is pretty modern and clean looking and pretty customizable too. Cinnamon is great for people who want to switch from Windows to Linux. Pantheon is a desktop environment that's designed to look and feel like macOS. It has a dock, launch pad, and other macOS-like features. Pantheon is simple and beautiful and great for people who want to switch from macOS to Linux. Like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss our awesome Linux and tech videos and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.